Hey guys, this is G for LiDAR Academy and today we talk about hardware. Hey guys, so today I wanted to give you some advice on what kind of computer you need to do uh, 3D computer graphics and get used to the visual effects pipeline as well. So the first thing I need to tell you is that a lot of times I hear from people that are just starting out that they don't have enough hardware, they don't have enough power and they cannot do things because they need a more powerful computer. Alright, so uh, first thing I want to tell you here is this is wrong. This is the wrong approach, I don't believe it and it's only true in few rare cases. So this is not an excuse today. You have enough power in your laptops and in your computers to create a very, very good images in 3D and to create a lot of content. So uh, what you need to do is just learn how op to optimize um, the process of uh, producing a 3D uh, video, 3D image and uh, avoid the hardware limitation excuse that I hear a lot of times. I will not get into the Mac versus PC fight because that's not the point of the video and I will not uh, be too technical about how each component works because that's not the point here. The point here is understanding how a component can affect your productivity uh, for your 3D uh, content because otherwise this would be a very 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 long video uh, and probably you guys are not really interested. What you want to know is what to buy in order to be efficient and effective and not to feel like limited too much. So the first component of a computer is the main board. The main board affects how stable your system is and you want to make sure here that you buy a reputable brand but you don't need to buy things that are too expensive. These expensive main board are most of the time for people that want to overclock or modify their main boards and uh, uh, in this case we are building a machine that you will need to use for work so to learn 3D or to actually produce content and this means that you don't want to uh, mess up with the machine so don't bother buying something too expensive just go for a reputable brand like Asus or Gigabyte and buy a mid-level uh, mainboard that will help the other components of your machine in being uh, balanced and uh, rock solid stable uh, the next component is your CPU. The CPU is basically the central processing unit of your machine and it affects how fast things get done. It has uh, uh, everything to do with anything that is heavy or intense calculations like for example rendering um, or uh, dynamic simulations or uh, uh, camera tracking or even uh, some uh, nuke filters, compositing filters or even Photoshop filters. So it's a very important component. Now the good thing of these days is that even if you get a medium level CPU that's still very powerful. A lot of the CPU today are um, uh, multi-core. Um, it's much easier than for example when I started where you had a one CPU that wasn't even that fast and there was one core and with that core you had to do multiple things so right now it's much better and even if you don't have a lot of money you can still buy a good CPU and have good results. I would say uh, for a good 3D environment you don't want to go below 8 cores so this can be 4 cores and 4 hyperthread and you can buy an i7 Intel processor which is plenty of power for most of the use. Don't feel like you will be limited in what you can render. If you want to render very big things you will need a render farm and render farm is a cluster, a series of computers that work together to get the render done and this is something that even the bigger visual effects houses have and need and most of the time even when we render scenes locally on our machines we are not able to render the whole scene altogether so that's what I was saying before you need to understand and learn how to optimize and divide the scene so that you can work with it so again there's no excuses here even if you can't render your scene as a whole you can still render it in other ways so my advice is just get an i7 Intel and uh, you can buy a 3 or 3.5 gigahertz one with 4 uh, cores, at least 4 uh, physical cores and this will give you plenty of power to start and learn your way up. 
in a few years from now you might need a, a more powerful CPU but for the time being I would rather spend my money in learning new things investing in uh, courses in uh, uh, workshops in tutorials that uh, will give you something that you can use over and over and over again remember that hardware always loses its value and uh, it always changes in the times so it's better now that you are learning that you invest in yourself instead of a machine so the third component is the RAM, so how much memory your machine has and this affects the amount of things that you can evaluate at the same time. Uh, this is important because this will, uh, will affect how many things you can render for example at the same time, how many textures you can read at the same time and a lot of other things. So the CPU uh, determines how fast things can go and the RAM determines how many things can go all together at the same time. So it's a really important component but again before you reach that point where you need so many textures or so many objects or such a complexity um, that you need a lot of RAM it's gonna take a lot it's gonna take a while. Remember that you also have to create all this stuff or even if you download and get objects that are pre-made you will need a lot of them in order to fill up um, a, a decent amount of RAM which is probably in the range of 8 gigabytes of RAM so I would say keep it simple buy one slot of 8 gigabytes of RAM if you can buy 16 that's even better but don't 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 bother too much about it buy a good 8 uh, um, gigabytes of RAM you can buy a Corsair bank of uh, uh, 8 gigabytes RAM and put it in your machine the RAM you can always extend it later and uh, it's not changing that much recently so it's very likely that uh, in a few years you will still be able to add a few more slots of RAM and you can move from 8 to 64 gigs very easily and the RAM that you will uh, put your today in your computer will still probably be available later on if it is not gonna be the latest model that doesn't matter you will still need more RAM and you can use this one so um, go with 8 slash 16 gigabytes of RAM and don't bother too much of putting 30 to 64 gigabytes of RAM in your system just yet. You're starting up, the things you will do are simple and it's better to start with simple things and grow slowly up. So the fourth component is the video card and the video card is particularly important if you want to be a modeler. Uh, an organic modeler as well as a hard surface modeler because you will need a video card that supports the amount of work you're doing on your models. If you are sculpting your model it's really easy to go very high and saturate both the video card and the uh, RAM of your computer. Uh, more vertices, more polygons you have, the more RAM you need and also your video card needs to display all this stuff and so the video card becomes very important too. Um, so if you want to be a 3D modeler, if you want to do sculpting, organic modeling, it's good to invest in a good video card. Video cards are progressing very rapidly but the difference in performance for a 3D application are not as big as uh, uh, for example in gaming. So you can still go with a slightly older model for now and then upgrade later on. I would say if you have the money to spend you can buy an, a GeForce GTX uh, 970 or 980 don't go to uh, way further than that these are already expensive cards if you cannot buy uh, this one just yet don't worry it's fine again you will not manipulate so complicated models for the moment um, that will require such a powerful GPU uh, the GPU is, that is uh, basically the processing unit of the video card has been more and more used by different parts of the of the softwares so what it means is that for example Photoshop uses the CPU and RAM but is also using now the GPU to do a few things Nuke uses the GPU a lot and uh, now you can even render with your GPU or preview your render or viewport render uh, with your GPU. In a 3D production the video card is probably the most important component no matter what you do. Even if you are an animator you want to make sure the video card is good enough to display uh, the animation fluidly and the rig runs fast enough and some part of the rigging are also accelerated by the GPU today which makes the GPU probably uh, the overall biggest impact on the system in a 3D content creation environment.